Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm going to be cooking pot roast today. Uh, pardon the mess behind me. I've got critter cages back here that I need to put in storage. Uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm Linda. This is my channel. I haven't been able to do very much this weekend. been rainy and cold. So we're going to have a pot roast that I bought. I'm going to put this in the pan. very carefully so I don't have to touch the meat. There we go. Slide it on in there. Flops it upside down. There we go. Okay. Well, it's in there now, right? I have an onion I'm going to toss in with it. I'm doing this in my Instapot. Quarter pieces of onion. Pop them right in there. Okay, I have onion recipe soup, dip and mix. It's really good. I want one of these packets. I'm going to pop this in there. Very simple recipe. I did have cream of mushroom soup that I always put in, but my kids put it back and I ended up with cream of chicken. So we're going to try this out just because that's all I got and I'm not going back to the store. It is packed in the store. Thanksgiving shopping is on like Donkey Kong in there. Already got all my Thanksgiving stuff. Might be uploading some cool videos. I normally cook a turkey. I wrap it in bacon and everything, but uh, this year I'm not going to do that. I bought a pre-smoked turkey from Sam's Club and I bought basically preheat up stuff. Because my husband works part of the day and I don't want to do it. I just don't. It's 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 just too much. Okay. Carrots. These are really good. I have two bags of these. They smell really good. Mmm. Love carrots. I pour a little over half the bag in there. It's a little bag of carrots. We have our green beans. Yummy. Just kind of throw these in there. I still have potatoes and I'm getting up close to the top of the pot here. I'm going to stick a whole bag of green beans in there. whole bag of green beans. It's a 12 ounce bag. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm putting in here. And then some potatoes I've pre-rinsed. Let me just pour this out here. Oops. <laughs> we had a green bean fly out onto the floor. I'll find it in a minute. Little yellow potatoes you can buy. These are the best for stew or soup or pot roast or whatever. I was going to do a chicken soup, but then I was like, you know what? Pot roast sounds better. I was going to do a whole chicken, but instead we're going to do pot roast. Okay, so there are the potatoes. Ideally, the meat I would put on top, so that way the juices cook around, but I didn't think about that this time around, so that's whatever. All right. Now chicken noodles or chicken cream of chicken soup. Just kind of pour it on top of the potatoes to keep them from burning. I'm going to be doing this on a low setting slow cook method so that way it can cook all day while my husband's at work he's gonna get home until later a 
pour some juice in there. Okay, and we do have a seasoning packet that I had somewhere around here. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I found my seasoning. It's a beef stew seasoning. Close enough. I thought I had pot roast seasoning, so I didn't buy any seasoning for my pot roast. But it's okay. This will work just fine. I'm going to dump this out right over here and just kind of sprinkle it around. I normally pour this in on top of the meat, but we're doing things backwards today, I guess. I'm going to add some more water to kind of rinse the flavoring down into the bottom. You want to be careful how much water you add. I know my table's a mess. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff and put over there. I've got to clean it off for Thanksgiving dinner. So I've got a lot of work. So this is going to help me so I can focus on doing that because this will be a meal that we can eat off of for a couple days. All right, so I have, looks like about 12 potatoes, 12 ounce pack of green beans, a little over a half a pound of carrots and roast. So it looks, it look, it looks pretty good guys. I'm going to be adding another video. It's going to be a short of how it looks later on. Um, I'm going to cook this on low, slow cook for, uh, I don't know how long it takes. I haven't ever done this, but it should take three to four hours to cook. If I'm guessing right, I'm pretty good at guessing. First time I've ever cooked Instapot roast. But we'll see just how long it takes. All right. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, my subscribers, so much for 